could go around, but you can't jump right over, but you can jump on those barrels and then jump over. I must confess, choosing, choosing a guild is quite daunting. I'd appreciate any advice you can offer. All ears, Archon. Merchant who was in the carriage with me, a red something, asked me much the same thing. At the time, I couldn't give a proper answer. I had a reason for leaving home, of course, but I couldn't express it in words. But having now set foot in Olda, it's become clear in my mind. I wanted to know what lay beyond the horizon. Wanted to see it with my own eyes and be amidst it. You've been to many places, right? You like it then? Traveling, that is. So you do. So you do. I have an older sister. During the calamity, we fled Gridania and took village in a took refuge in a village in the mountains. We ended up staying in that secluded secluded place, and it's been a long been a dream of mine to travel the world. But inexperienced as I am, I don't know if I could live a life on the road. Is there a guild that could equip me with the skills I need? where I can learn how to protect myself and others. If I recall correctly, Ulda is home to the Pugilists and Thaumaturges guilds. Those two, I choose the Pugilists, have always enjoyed rigorous ex exercise, and I'm quite confident in my physical abilities. Yes, I believe this is the guild for me. We'll go and join at once. Thanks for your concern. But I should be fine. If you still have time, though, could we meet again afterwards? There are a few more things I'd like to ask you about. Great. I'll look for you when I'm done. That is a creepy camera angle. A fellow cat puncher! The, the cat who punches. We aren't punching cats here. No. Bad. Pugilist Guild anyway, so sounds like a plan. That was a most impressive display, young one watching you i'm reminded of myself in my youth swift strong and handsome not to say that i'm not these these things anymore of course you're too kind master Hamon. i'm sure you're still all those things and more no no nahagi take care you don't flatter the old man over much his neck couldn't bear his head getting any larger Oh, Archon, I'm glad that see that to say that pugilism agrees with me. My thanks for your recommendation. Oh no, Archon, to think you're the one that you're the one who sent Nahagi to us. The lad possesses rare talent, and I look forward to watching him grow in our art. Right then, my boy. Today's lessons. Today's lesson well. Remember today's lesson well, and keep it your training. Next time, we shall try something a little harder. Sorry for keeping you waiting. So engrossed was I in the combinations, I lost track of time. Oh, I should mention something. 
as I was training, a peculiar minstrel approached me. He said that if I'm resolved to walk an adventurer's path, I should seek him out for a task. Moreover, he asks that you accompany me. If you're willing, he's apparently waiting at the Ruby Road Exchange. More? Okay. Also, I need to talk to Hummel. So the wooden dummies have felt your wrath. Good. Now we can move on to your lesson. When you first came to us, I taught you that combinations make a pugilist. What you need to know next is that not any hodgepodge of strikes makes a combination. There's an order to things. A natural flow from one technique to the other. Today, I would have you practice one of the most elementary combinations in a pugilist arsenal. It goes like this. Lead in with a swift boots shine combo. Keep your foe off balance with a true strike. Then bring it home with a blistering snap punch. With practice, combinations such as this will become second nature. They must if you expect to become an accomplished pugilist. Now, you'll need some opponents to practice on. The kicker that infests the rat's nest in central Thanalon ought to serve. Hit them with snap punch three times, and we'll call it a lesson learned. Okay. Road exchange is the next step. Reaper, Reaper portals always look so weird just out in the middle of the city. My friend, you have done a splendid job as a guide. I was right to entrust the task to you. What? Do you mean to say Archon approached me at your behest? It did, I must confess. You see, for my next composition, I seek to capture the essence of the times. Well, any number of subjects would be worthwhile, the greatest interest to me is the recent rise in the ranks of adventurers, and thus bringing different generations of adventurers together, I had hoped for inspiration to strike, and I'm pleased to say that it has. Drawing upon your experience walking your path, you have helped Nahage to begin walking his, a reminder that the present owes its existence to the past. That is to say, the present and the past are deeply entwined. If we capture the former, we cannot well disregard the latter. And this brings me to my next request. I ask that each of you find an object with a connection to the Calamity, the event which gave rise to the realm's rebirth. Present it to me with its tail. Oh no, that sounds not unlike a treasure hunt first task in it as an adventure. What do you say, Archon? Shall we do it? Excellent. When you have your items, pray seek me out at the Ruby Road Exchange. I eagerly look forward to seeing what you bring. There are many vendors on the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, right? Chances are they'll have something, so let's begin our search there. I mean, he's got to actually play the game a little bit, because he has the Clockwork Solace. Come on, let's begin looking around. Ah, the 
are using this mechanic again. Yeah, you didn't realize the dude dancing in front of the old on etherite is not an NPC. Welcome, welcome. What is it you're after? Objects with a connection to the calamity, you say? Why, well, I have just the thing. An amethyst ring from Ishgard, steeped in sentimental value. Five years ago, on the eve of the Battle of Cartanone, a young temple knight set out from his homeland, wishing to do his, his part for Eorzea when his nation would not. Alas, the man never arrived in the flats. En route, he came upon a merchant being attacked by a dragon and lost his life going to the stranger's aid. This was his ring, an heirloom passed down through his line. A tragic tale. But I wonder, how did the ring find its way back? If the knight fell, it seemed the merchant wouldn't, couldn't have survived unscathed. I remember, uh, I remember now. Though the knight was mortally wounded, he succeeded in striking down the dragon. And with his last breath, he entrusted the ring to the merchant. Y yes, that's how it happened. <coughs> Bullshit! So what do you say? If you're interested, I'd be willing to part with the relic for a special price. But for today only. This feels a bit dubious. Can we look around some more? Bound to be other things out there. Oh, is this the local cuisine? Goodness, but everything looks amazing. In the course of your journeys, you must have sampled all kinds of food. From simple fare to exotic feasts, I look forward to sampling everything too. object with a collection of the cam calamity. I wonder what, what manner of things we'll find. Greetings and welcome to my exhibit. Please feel free to browse it to your leisure and don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. Looking for objects that bear a collection of the cam We're looking for objects that bear a connection to the calamity. Do you have something that fits the description? As a matter of fact, I do. Yonder pane, entitled the Sultana Seven, depicts an inspiring event from the Calamity. It was the final days before the fall of Dalamud, its in inexorable approach foretelling our impending doom. Panic spread like wildfire, while many in their desperation turned on the Sultanate. Looting and rioting broke out across Ulda to quell the masses, Her Majesty, Nanamo Ulnamo took to the streets with a guard consisting of only seven subjects, for they alone had the courage to stand with their sultana. There she addressed the rabble. Heed me, my beloved citizens. The realm lies upon the brink of the Seventh Umbral Era, yet so long as we live we must not forget our compassion. Now is not... Hello, random free company invite. Gotta love those. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to proffer him the hand of succor. Brought to their senses by her words, the people laid down their arms and set about healing the wounds they themselves had inflicted on Old Da. And those who returned from the battlefield found their home much as they had left it, a gleaming jewel in the desert. Yeah, 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 they're guilds. Imagine she sounds like a great ruler. Alda is fortunate to have her watching over it. Thanks for sharing the tale. It is indeed ins inspiring. You've done an incredible job capturing it in glass. So far, so good. Let's look around just a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. That goes away.
House of Splendors? What kind of place is this, I wonder? See, so you're not familiar with the house. We offer wares in exchange for scripts, but our services are available only to those whom we know and trust. So if I want to be a customer, I need to make a name for myself. One day, Nahagi. One day. Step. Greetings! From daily necessities to unusual curios, I deal in all manner of wares. If there is something in particular you seek, you need but ask. Objects to do with the calamity. Two of you are adventurers, are you not? In which case, I have something that may be of interest. It's a journal I acquired from an adventurer who retired injured. The man recorded his experiences during the Calamity in detail, and I dare say it has value for students of history. Oh ho, an adventurer's first-hand account. I'd love to pour over it. Keep a journal of your adventures as well, Archon? So, I'd love to read it too one day. With your permission, of course. Oh, for another historical piece, I also have a scrapbook of articles from The Raven, Cardania's Eating tabloid. It's mainly cover events outside the Calamity, however. Articles from the Raven, you say? Hmm. Dare say we've seen enough. Let's find a quiet spot to discuss what to bring back. This looks like as good a spot as any. I don't know about you, but that was all very new and exciting for me. Talking to myriad people, learning the tale behind each object. It's been a great experience. I won't soon forget it. Now then, we need to decide what we want to take to the minstrel. Have you made up your mind? did consider that too, but in the end settled on something else. What is it? <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to keep it a surprise. Come, let us purchase our respective items and meet back where the minstrel awaits. the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Adventurer's Guild? No, it's back over this way. Okay. Welcome back. You've each found an item, I trust. Well now, what have we here? The Journal of an Adventure, you say? Despite the vendor's claims, such records typically do not have much historical value, on account of their limited perspective and inherent partiality. Yet, by the same token, they have great value to me, for they offer a glimpse into the writer's heart. There is no richer material for penning verses. Now then, what of you, young Nahagi? What might this be? 
It's a scrapbook of articles from the Raven. You see, my sister is a reporter for the tabloid. During the Calamity, she traveled the realm, interviewing adventurers about their journeys. No, nothing more than to hear her tales. It seemed like such a diverse crowd, adventurers. No two people were alike. And yet they were united in the free, unshackled lives they lived. It struck a chord with me, and in time, I found myself admiring them. Looking back, it was my sister who instilled in me the desire to see the world, to become an adventurer. That's why I chose this scrapbook. See, footprints someone leaves on their journey become the starting point for another. Yes, a verse comes to me. A blessing for those souls who are taking their first carry steps into the unknown. Pray, lend me your ears. Greetings, warrior of light. This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A light of fancy conjured by your weary want mind? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. Oh. Okay. Know that name. I th Unless I'm very much mistaken, that is the lead. Yeah, uh, otherwise known as Yoshi P. This is the lead designer for Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, responsible for basically everything from A Realm Reborn onward. This game does not exist without him. a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Naoki Yoshida, and it beckons you here that I might express my gratitude. Yeah, this is um, a special event that's for the what anniversary are we on right now? I think like the ninth anniversary. Um, you basically you have to do this quest in this like it started on August 27th and it's gonna end like September 12th so you have a very limited time span to do it in uh, the reward for it is a clockwork solace which solace is a character you will first meet in late stormblood he becomes an important character in Shadowbringers and is one of the central drivers of the main plot in Endwalker. Um, his role as villain hero kind of fluctuates over time. He's never really a true hero, but he's becomes less antagonistic. But this is a celebration of 
So every year around this time of year, there's an event called the Rising. Which is the anniversary of maybe Realm Reborn. Uh, I don't know if it's clockwork, if it's account wide or not. Let's see if I can, I'm trying to pull up some information. Exactly. Okay, so this is the ninth anniversary. So, okay. Um, yeah, I'm pulling some things up on another monitor that you guys can't see, but I can. Um, this, A Realm Reborn officially relaunched on August 27th, 2013. This was a complete overhaul of the Final Fantasy XIV servers that Yoshi P was one of the ones, he took over the project and more or less said that Final Fantasy XIV as it existed on that day was unsalvageable. They needed to start over completely from scratch. And the Calamity is this whole storyline that ties into an in-world destruction of Final Fantasy XIV and the creation of a Realm Reborn. That occurred on August 27, 2013. So every year, beginning on August 27th, there's a event, I think it's usually known as the Rising, but I'm not 100% sure on that. This year is definitely known as the Rising, and this year is the ninth anniversary. This is one of the seasonal events that occurs in Final Fantasy XIV. There's the usual seasonal events of Halloween, uh, winter holidays, Easter, Valentine's Day, usually something midsummer. This is one of the ones that isn't tied to a real world holiday. This is tied to a game event. But yeah, this this what's going on right now and this quest line that I've been following this new adventure around and helping him in like make decisions and become a new adventurer you can only do this starting on august 27th through september 12th yeah september 12th is the end date you have to be level 15 which is why the title for this is i need to get to level 15 because this is the last stream day i have before this event ceases to be accessible if I wasn't level 15, I couldn't do this. So I had to get to level 15 today and do this. Or I lost it. I couldn't get this mount, this minion. Yeah, so if this is an account wide, I need to at least go over on my main and get this as well. Um, you've seen it's taken maybe 45 minutes to an hour it's most of the like events don't have a very high level minimum it's only the ones that like require doing specific fates and those usually take more time anyway but first of all i wish to thank you for continuing to grace us with your presence you and your fellow adventurers are our inspiration and this shall never change so this is this isn't just an event this is yoshi p talking to the player this is him self-inserting and talking to you the world however is an ever-changing place mysterious in its elusiveness yeah Bird actually asked me earlier today whether I was going to do the Rising. I didn't even know this was going on until earlier today. It shows so much I pay attention when I'm not streaming. Honestly, 
unexpected hardships may turn our lives upside down. And though we all desire peace deep in our hearts, the sparks of conflict never cease to be struck. Like an adventurer's journey, the world is constantly moving towards the unknown, and it takes considerable courage to alter course. Yet I ardently believe that it is a small, but significant step in our quest to create new adventures. Indeed, another great change is about to visit the world, and it shall open the way to exciting new journeys. And tis our abiding hope that our journey together shall ever continue on, the distant horizon and beyond. Now, the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Turn to walking your path and know that you are in our hearts always. Till next we meet, I bid you safe travels. Thank you for the generous reward and the uplifting verse. It gives me courage for the road ahead. Speaking of which, it's time I set out on my own. Though it was brief, I enjoyed our time together. I hope you see to see you again somewhere out there. Much and more was lost in the calamity, intrepid souls continue to set forth, paving the way unto the future. At such a moment in history do we stand, and for you I would perform another song. Life is a riddle to bear gladness and grief, meet stars and through storms the answers to seek. Your footprints are threads to be gathered and woven, a song of dawn resplendent, dancing high to the heavens. The grace of the gods through mankind has been torn, it's eternal, lives and memories are born. The future is unwritten, bring it rapture or sorrow, Journey shall continue to tomorrow and tomorrow. Oh, it's hard to find the beat, too. I wonder, how did you feel as you watched Nahagi set off? So, did the sight fill you with worry for a fledgling adventure? Or did it awaken fond memories of your own humble beginnings? Whichever it may be, I know that yours is a journey more trying than most. There, be, there will be times when you're overcome by loneliness, and each step feels heavier than the last. At such a moment, I bid you remember this. So long as you late harbor love for this world, Ever shall be there shall there be a place for you and it. Your adventures will never end. Is what we came here for.
that? You have unlocked the Jigsaw Puzzle minigame. So that quest was kind of formulaic for a while, and then it just kicked it up to 11. That ending, everything from the moment you went to the Dream Realm and were talked to by Yoshi P, everything after that was beautiful and it really caught me off guard how quickly that quest ramped from blah 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 to what is going on 